Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Addie. And if you guys enjoy houseplants as much as I do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Today's video is going to be just me taking you guys along with me to go plant shopping at big box stores. I may even stop at a nursery on the way. I haven't decided yet, but mainly I'm going to go to a couple of Lowe's, a Home Depot, and I might even check out a few Walmarts. I am on the hunt for the Syndapsis, uh, Syndapsis Trubii Moonlight and the Raphidophora Hay or Hai, however you say it. A few local Walmarts got those two plants in the Trending Tropicals collection here a few weeks ago, and I unfortunately missed out. I sped to that Walmart, and as soon as I got there, they sold out. So that was really unfortunate. So I'm really trying to get my hands on those two plants. So hopefully one of the Walmarts that I stop at today have one of them. But um, if they don't, then that's okay. I'm just more of doing this because it's my day off, and I just want to go see some plants. So let's go inside of Lowe's. That is our first stop that we're at today. As soon as we walk in, you can see some Diffenbachia and some Dracaena. I always want to call these bromeliads, but these are Dracaena. These are pretty. Some palms. some bird of paradise how much are these guys $25 and some variegated chiflera and some crotons let's go out in the garden center to see what they have it's here's some cacti and succulents these pots are so freaking cute and this ZZ doesn't look too terrible. How much are these? $20. And that's a really nice pot. This pot is cute. This is so adorable too. This Syngonium is gorgeous in that pot. I love the pink leaves. Chiflera, some fiddles for $20, some more Dracaenas, these are so cute too, how much are these guys, um, these are $12, Look at that thick boy. And here's some begonias. These are $18, part of the Trending Tropicals collection. What is going on with this guy? That is not okay. Here's some super adorable orchids. Some smaller fiddles. A raven's easy, but that does not look good at all. Bromeliads, Diffenbachia, Sago Palms. Here's some cute Tradescantia. But they don't look too good. These are very pretty plants, but I don't have one in my collection and these ones aren't looking too good. Some more cacti and succulents. And keep in mind that it is still winter here in Indiana, obviously. And it's still pretty cold, so I feel like they haven't been getting a lot of shipments in recently. Bonsai for 25. There's the very sad 
clearance section. Some African violets and bamboo. Let's see what they have over here. Some ivy, crotons, waffle, purple waffle. Ooh, this is so pretty. That color is gorgeous. I just went to another Lowe's, but they did not have anything worth filming. So I am actually here at Meyer. Sometimes they have a good selection of plants. So I'm gonna go inside and see what they have. Here are some of the hanging plants at Meyer. They have some bird's nest ferns, some pothos. Um, I believe this is a kangaroo paw fern, another bird's nest fern. They have some philodendron cordatums. Some ivy here, and some cider plants. And these are all $17.99. And I think this is like an aluminum plant. They have some ZZ plants for $20. Some bamboo. Here are some cute arrangements. And some more bird's nest ferns. What is this guy? Not sure what this is. I wonder if it's some sort of peperomia. If you guys know what this is, go ahead and comment down below. It's $10. There's some Tradescantia turtle vine. Some succulents. Cacti and Sansevieria. There's, a, I think, a mistletoe cactus. Here are, I don't know what plant that is. I thought it might have been a ruby necklace, but I don't think so. Here's some string of dolphins. Ten dollars. Here's some little fiddle leaf figs. Ooh, this is super cute. $13. It's adorable. And here's, I think, a crocodile fern. Some Pleia peperomioides for $15. And then they have like a little kit. I think these are also 15. Here's some larger plants. A really tall money tree. Sansevieria. Croton. And these are $17. Pretty polka dot plants. Oops, four dollars. My phone ran out of storage when I was in Meyer, so I had to hurry up and delete a bunch of stuff, but now we are walking into Home Depot. Inside they have their varieties of cacti and succulents and this guy is super cute. These are $3.98. We have some more bromeliads and anthuriums. Here's that super cute prickly pear. And this blue aloe. There's some palms, 
some larger aloe and sansevieria. They don't have a price on them. Just kidding, they're $20. And outside, it looks like they just got this shipment in. Looks like some coffee plants, some ferns, some Peperomia tussifolia. And the same down there. These are $7.98. Here's some more cacti and succulents. Guy is cute. There are the larger plants, the palms. And here they have, I think this is quill something. Oh, this is a succulent. So if you guys don't know the name of this one, also comment down below. It's $5.98. Their leaves are really thin. Three ninety eight. So this guy is super pretty. A euphorbia for five ninety eight. I definitely do not have a euphorbia at home, and these guys are pretty cool. Here's a larger prickly pear. Here are some hanging baskets. It's a calico kitten for $12.98. Here are some more darker form calico kitten. for $12.98. Some large aloe for $20. I just found this beautiful ficus tanniki. These are $12.98. And look at that super adorable new leaf coming in. I might get this one. I have to think on it though. The last ficus tanniki that I had, unfortunately had spider mites and I did not feel like dealing with it. So I just pitched it. So I might actually get this one. I did end up getting the ficus tanniki over at Home Depot. I am now at McNamara Nursery. This might be my last stop just because I need to get home and start doing chores fun. But let's go in here. Hopefully they have some good stuff. Let's go on over here and see the cactus. This is super cute and so tiny for $4.99. Ooh, this guy is weird looking. I like him. Lots of 
lots of Schiflera. Some Schiflera, Neon Pontos, Dracaena, Syngonium. Look at all those spider babies. Here's all the little terrarium plants. Cute little strawberry begonia. Oh my gosh, are these little baby staghorn ferns? Are you kidding me? Those are so little. Dundrin Red Congo, I believe. Here's some slightly bigger strawberry begonias for $10.99. Some variegated Peperomia obtusifolia for $10.99. And I cannot wait until the springtime because in the spring they do a 50% off on all of their house plants. So I definitely won't miss that. Here's super tall St. Saveria for $60. Some little Schifleras for $10.99. Large, super large staghorn for $45. Some wild Tradescantia. Some more spider babies, $10.99. Some succulents. Some pothos for $10. And here are some Adansonii Adam hanging baskets for $40. And once these go on 50% off, Oh, I thought that was a mealy bug. Once these are 50% off, that'll be such a good deal. There's some Marantas for $10.99. Polka dot plants for $10.99. There's a philodendron for Adam. Philodendron Xanadu. Crazy Sansevieria, Ponytail Palm. Here's some more Forbia, I think. $35 for Firecracker Cactus. Here's some String of Hearts for $18.99. String of Pearls for $18.99. That looks like the last string of hearts. Some burrow's tail. Look at that huge fiddle. Holy cow. Another large Sansevieria. Some bonsai for $98, some rattlesnake calathea for $29, I'm not sure what kind of calathea this is, but it's $29, here's a lonely ZZ, $29, look at these huge lipstick baskets for $40. If they still have these for that 50% off sale, I'm definitely snagging one. I love this. What kind of plant is this? Is, this isn't a Ruby Cascade, is it? No, it can't be. It's $44.99. If you guys know what plant this is, it has really thin leaves. Go ahead and comment down below.
Ooh, this this Mbakia is super pretty. Here's some super tiny burgundy rubber tree for $10.99. And Peperomia, I'm not sure on the varieties though. Pothos. Ponytail palm. More bird's nest fern. And these super crazy long Hoya Pubicalyx. Holy cow. These are $35 and they are massive. Are you kidding me? Holy cow. That guy is insane. If I had a spot for him, I would definitely get him. And then here's a Hoya Carnosa. These guys are insane. Holy cow. I cannot believe. Look at all this new growth. That is so pretty. Lots of Sansevieria, some little ones, and there's even one blooming that is so adorable. Is this the Sansevieria Moonshine? If so, I do not have one and I actually kind of like it. Here's some larger ones. Guy is massive. Looks like they have some more Hoya over here. This guy is only $289. This guy would take up my whole living room. I would love that in my living room. It would just feel like a jungle. These leaves are massive. Holy cow. Oh, that's so cute. A lemon tree back there. Little baby ZZs for $13. Looks like some philodendron moonlight, or no, philodendron lemon line. They have a crap ton of orchids over there. Here's this huge totem pole of Hoya Pubicalyx Splash. $289. I cannot get over how big this fiddle leaf fig is. A huge 10 inch basket of the glow, or sorry, golden pothos. Ooh, there's a neon philodendron totem pole over there for 200. I forget what these are called, but I actually have one at home. They're ten dollars. I actually think the only thing that I'm going to get today might be some cute little terrarium plants. I just can't get over how little and cute these staghorn ferns are. And the cute little syngoniums. Like this guy is so freaking cute. Oops. Look how little that is.
I just went inside of a Walmart and they unfortunately did not have what I was looking for either and nothing really worth recording. They had some pothos and aloes. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video, but first I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a haul and show you guys everything that I got today, which I know you guys already know, but I got the Ficus Taniki from Home Depot and it came in this really nice white ceramic pot. And I picked this one out because of the new leaf coming out. So I can't wait to see that. And then from McNamara, um, I got this root and grow. It's supposed to stimulate root growth. So I'm going to use this for my cuttings. It is a liquid instead of a powder. Um, so if you guys use this kind of stuff before, let me know. Leaf is already damaged. Poop. But I got this cute little strawberry begonia. I've seen huge hanging baskets at Lowe's of these. But for some reason, I'm scared of those big baskets. So I'm just going to test my waters with this one and see how it does. This funky little creature. Um, I really don't know the name of this cactus. So if you guys know, go ahead and comment down below. I could not say no to this weird looking guy. I've never seen one like it before. And for only five bucks. And I wasn't going to get that little staghorn fern only because the more that I looked at them, the more they just looked overwatered and just not healthy. Some of the leaves were mushy. So I decided to get this cactus. So that is it. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you guys did not enjoy the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. That still helps out my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video.